Cześć wszystkim, z tej strony Draka i powracamy do Sam i Max ratują świat u mnie na kanale. I tak, ruszamy w bezmafijnej krainie misiaka czy coś tam hazard u... Szukamy kreta, który rzekomo przyszedł tutaj dowiedzieć się rzeczy, ale nigdy nie wrócił. U, Leonard! Nice mustasz, my bro. Leonard You look more like a uh, Boris Crinkle. That's what everyone says. <laughs> Seria? So are you a real Indian? Yeah, I'm a wooden Indian. As in wouldn't bet against me if I was you. I'll kill him. Not yet. <laughs> Jeszcze nie, kwestia czasu. Does the carpet match the drapes? No, it's stained with tobacco juice. Squalid yet candid. Normally I like that in a gambler. But for you, we'll make an exception. How do you get anyone to gamble with you? Frankly, you seem shady. I offer great odds, and I possess a certain subtle charm. I hate to break it to you, but non-existent and subtle are two different things. <laughs> oh yes, it's a good text. Look, I'm here to play poker. Are we going to get this dog and bunny show on the road or what? Leonard, you give new meaning to the phrase, a face only a mouth. <laughs> <laughs> My mama said I was beautiful. Come on. Uh, how exactly does one play poker of the Indian persuasion? You know you're off to a good start when your opponent doesn't even know how to play. You ever consider that we might be card sharks? Or shark sharks? You know, the kind that eat people for being overconfident? Whatever. Look, it's simple. We both get dealt a card which we put on our forehead without looking at it. So we can see each other's card, but not our own. Pretty sharp, McGruff. Don't call me that. And you make a bet if you think he got the higher card, or fold if you want out. That's it? Yep. Then we see who's got the highest card, and then I win, like always. Well, when you put it like that, we'd be fools not to play. No dobra, zaryzykujmy. Mam wrażenie, że nie mamy szansy na wygraną, ale niech będzie. Like hand at a hand of Indian poker. You won't regret this, hound. By which I mean, I won't regret this. Oh, and try any funny stuff with your partner and I'll shoot you both. That seems fair. No dobra. Let's go. Dobra pokerowa twarz. Ten million token says I got a better card than you. I'm betting it all. Sweet second mortgages on a summer home. We can't match that. Tell you what, pooch. I'm feeling so confident. I'll give you 10 million to one odds. Just bet one token and you can win the whole pot. Those are mighty good odds. No, they ain't, deputy dog, because I never lose. <laughs> so, you in or out? Sure. We'll bet a token. <laughs> Sorry, Rover. You lose. Stick Chama wins. Mama was wrong. Gambling does pay. I'd say better luck next time, but it'll take more than luck to beat me. You yeah, don't think it's pretty oak and staff to really do the job. That's enough for now. Uh, okay. Lubię to, że... Although I could have sworn you were a dog, not a chicken. A common mistake. Lubię to, że nasz żeton jest ogólnie magiczny i wiecie, wyda się wracać naszej kieszeni. Dobra. Z tym gościem póki co nic nie wiem, się niepokojące głowy. Są zajebiście niepokojące, przerażają mnie. Disturbing. No, ale co, mamy strażnika, mamy jednorękiego bandyta. You see that, Sam? It's a little play on the well-known colloquialism for slot machine. The fun just never stops at Teddy Bears. Jasne. Zakręćmy. Co mi szkodzi? I love hazard. 
You're on fire. Sweet mother of bleary-eyed gambling addiction, we won. Yeah, we won, but there's no prize. You gotta hand it to Teddy Bear. He really puts the bandit in one-armed bandit. Hold it. What's the password? Ha, po tych po angielsku. A, okej, dobra. Głowa kaczuszka? Heh. Gablota z kanapką z klopsikiem? Uuuu. The original Teddy Bear made this original meatball sandwich with his own two paws in 1957. The microorganisms that give Teddy's modern meatballs their distinctive tang are descended from the colony in this sandwich. Uff. No dobra, co możemy tutaj zrobić? Czy mogę wejść po prostu? Hold it, Mugs. Not Mugs, Max. I don't care if it's Teddy Ruxpin. No one gets in without a password. Oh right, that would be what again? Why don't you tell me? Does the carpet match the drapes? I don't know. I set fire to the drapes. I love to watch things burn. Zrozumiałe. I'm sorry I asked. Dogadajmy się z Katsi. The password is swordfish. Nope. The password is rosebud. Nope. The password is password. Nope. Bring me the head of Alfredo Garcia? Nope. Mieszka tu jakiś cwajak. Okej, dobra, to mnie rozbawiło. I've come to grandma's funeral? Nope. Who's on first? Nope. Who's your daddy? Nope. Who's your daddy? Okej. I am the walrus? Nope. You remind me of this shopkeeper I know. Nope. I give up. Will you let me in, please? Nope. Dobra, i zakładam, że tutaj nasze opcje się kończą. Nie mam pomysłu, co mogę zrobić z... Mam asa. As jest najwyższą z kart. Czy, czy ja mogę użyć asa na nim? I'm sure he'd be happy, but I'm not sure I would. Huh. Back. Czy ja podczas naszej gry mogę użyć asa? Czwórka to niska, niska karta, więc powinniśmy, nasza powinna być wyższa. Nope. I just always know when I got the lower card. Call it my sixth sense. Or seventh, if you count my sense of humor. Don't! Well, we're certainly never getting rich at this rate. That's enough for now. Okay. A common mistake. Czy mogę gadać z rozdającym? Hello, I'm Cuddly Bear. Wanna play cards? Does the carpet match the drapes? Wanna play cards? We asked first! Wanna play cards? Hmm. We're looking for someone who works here. Wanna play cards? Sounds like someone who's been a pretty cute card pickup and lost. We'd like to develop a gambling addiction, starting now. Back for a little more public... Just a little more. Ah, czy to odsyła mnie do niego? Nie, nie chcę. Dobra, myślę, że chyba tutaj osiągnęliśmy wszystko. Chodźmy zobaczyć, co słychać u Bosko. Czy ma akurat maszynę, która pozwoli nam pokonać tego hazardzistę? Bądź też coś, co pozwoli nam podsłuchać, jak brzmi hasło. I jaki motyw przebraniowy będzie miał tym razem nasz kochany Bosko? Jego przebranie na dziś jest... Nice flapjack. Son of God, I'm blue. Who is Francis? Is Francis them? Hey guys, it's me, Bosco. No, but you may call me Jean Francois Bandeplat, the new a French anarchist. So, Bosco, why'd you get Frenchified? They saw right through my British disguise. I don't know how they did it, but they. Who? The mafia. 
Ah. They've got it in for me. Take a number, guys. What manner of nightmarish atrocities has the toy mafia committed against you? Nothing yet. Ah. ah but I know what they are planning. And it is terrible. Are they planning to tie you down, tape your eyelids open, and turn on the 24-hour Midtown Cowboys channel? Well, nothing really good, eh? I have reason to believe they are planning to deliver something to my store. Uh huh. Another delivery conspiracy? What could a band of ruthless toy mongers possibly want to put in here? I don't know. Yeah, but it is no matter. They will never be able to deliver anything to my store. Or well, my name is not Jean Francois Bandepart. Your name's not Jean Francois. They don't know that. What's keeping the toy mafia from making a delivery? Well, for one, I am watching always. They will never sneak past me. Yeah, just like Wizard couldn't sneak past you. And two, even if they do get past me, I got a fail safe. It's the greatest invention the world has seen since B Tags. I call it the Bosco Tech Anti Delivery System. What's the acronym for that? Uh, also B Tags. It yeah. is a B Tags Part D. And it's actually pretty do. How does B Tags Part D work? First is the anti-delivery camera. It keeps a massive photo recognition database of every inconvenient item I store. How completely impractical! If anything is placed in the stores that the anti-delivery camera does not recognize, it is put out on the streets. Vive la France! Vive la France! Does the carpet match the drapes? No. And you know why? Because the man does not want them to. He is threatened by their potential unification. Mm, I go, right. Look outside. It's the Toy Mafia. What? Where? Fools, there is no one. <laughs> Sorry, Bosco. Just yanking your chain, amigo. Sacre bleu. I could do this all day. And I intend to. We want to buy something. Oui, oui, monsieur. No, bra. So much. What do you got? Oh la la! Behind the counter, I have the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. A device non pareil au chocolat. Is that good? Oui, oui. This I call a ah, if she's crazy. It can fit in any cravat, under any chapeau. What to do? It listens. You can use it to hear secret conversations, no? No. I mean, yes. Okay, Bosco. We'll take that miniature listening device. As the price is ten million dollars. Czyli muszę wygrać czterdziestą. Is that ten million in crazy fake French dollars or ten million in regular dollars? Regular dollar. The market is bearish on crazy fake French dollar. Do you have any stray tufts of Sasquatch hair? No. Do you have any hats in the shape of a cow udder? No. Do you have any rubber chickens with a pulley in the middle? No. Do you have any amulets of protection against greater hypnosis? No. Oh, to by się przydało. Do you have Może nie teraz, ale ogólnie by się przydało. No dobra, chyba ma nas dość. Shit. Miss Click. Nothing for us. No dobra. I know not this Bosco of whom you speak. But if I see him. I shall beat him. A reservoir. Dobra, czyli jego system działa tak, że rzeczy niezakupione u Bosco zostaną z automatu wyrzucone. Pytanie: Jak możemy użyć tej wiedzy? Ponieważ nie wiem. Zakładam, że jeśli użyjemy ten magnesu, który nie pochodzi z jego sklepu. Are you trying to deliver something? I am watching you. Hmm. Potrzebujemy kasy. Żeby wy... Zakładam, że musimy zrobić coś z... tą kartą. Pytanie tylko co? Tutaj nic nowego się nie pokazuje. 
Nie ma tutaj totalnie nic, z czym możemy wejść w interakcję. Możemy zajrzeć jeszcze do Sybilii. A nóż. Ona pchnie fabułę. Hit! Ale co mój granatnik zniknął? To nie jest dobra nowina, nie jest dzisiaj dobry dzień. No a czym Sybilla będzie teraz? Jaki biznes będzie prowadzić? Nie umiem wejść do jej sklepu póki co. Waga. Widziałem wagę. Sybilla teraz jest. Hello Sam. Hello Max. Hey, it's our favorite short attention span careerist. This time I found the job for me. I've become a professional trial witness. Świadek. What exactly is a professional trial witness? Oh, it's great. We give dramatic testimonies, sequester in ritzy hotels, and order room service in the name of truth and justice. It almost mm -hmm. sounds like you're enriching yourself at the expense of this country's overcomplicated legal system. Do you have a problem with that, Mr. Freelance Police? Yeah, why didn't we think of it? What led you to decide to become a professional witness? Publishing the Alien Love Triangle Times taught me a lot about the truth, you know? The truth is far out there? Exactly. And then one day I got called for jury duty and the rest is history. A, spodobało ci się. What's your next career gonna be? Oh, there is no next career. I'm sticking with trial witnessing for good. Pożyjemy, zobaczymy. No, seriously. Any ideas about your next cockamamie profession? I resent that. Okay. Do you have your first case yet? No, but I'm waiting for a call from the district attorney. He says he's got something I'd be perfect for. You don't feel uncomfortable getting a case first and then being a witness for it? Not at all. You see, the problem with most trials is that crimes are witnessed by someone who's unprepared for what's going to happen, or who doesn't have sufficient training or skills to accurately remember or relate what happened. With my background and widely varied skill set, I'm perfect. That makes sense. Should I be afraid? Probably. Myślę, że Sybilla w tym zawodzie idealnie sprawiłaby się, sprawdziłaby się w świecie Phoenixa Wrighta. Any idea what your first case is going to be about? No, but it doesn't really matter. It's a flat fee system. Does the carpet match the drapes? Interior decorating was like eight months ago. I'm a trial witness now. Isn't trial witnessing a trifle dangerous? Oh no, we're protected by the truth. Mm-hmm. Obawiam się, że Sybilla jednak nie ruszy fabuły póki co. Nigdy nie wiem czego się spodziewać. Zazwyczaj dostaję nic. Zawsze było tak ciemno w tym biurze. Dobra, okej. Okay. Nie mam bladego pojęcia jak mogę obejść tego hazardzistę. Nie mam też bladego pojęcia jak mogę wykorzystać system dostarczania bosko do zrobienia czegokolwiek z racji tego, że póki co chyba nie potrzebuję jego sklepu do niczego. Mogę jeszcze zacząć do biura, już tutaj jestem. A nóż pojawił się tutaj coś godnego uwagi. Kto wie, prawda? Kto wie? Aczkolwiek na pierwszy rzut oka wydaje się że wszystko jest na miejscu. On jest teraz paserem. Can I, can, can, can I pass him anything? Hey Jimmy, we're looking to buy. Oh no, I ain't selling you nothing. You'll just come back for a refund and then drop me off a cliff or something. Miałem taki plan. true. Jimmy Two Teeth, fence. Eat it. Czemu taki jesteś? Jimmy Two Teeth, fence. It's a sad day when I think beat it. Hey Jimmy, we're looking to sell. Oh no, I don't want nothing. He's got a point. Do czego mógłbym użyć? Zgaszę mu światło. No czego mam użyć jakiekolwiek z moich przedmiotów, by osiągnąć jakiś cel? Potrzebuję kasy. Kasę ma hazardista. On ma swój dziwny zmysł wykrywania karty na mojej głowie. 
co z jakiegoś powodu działa. Raczej nie potrzebuję, żeby cokolwiek stało się z... w sklepie Bosko. Raczej. Tak mi się wydaje przynajmniej. O mój Boże, czy ja będę się to obserwować za każdym razem? Obawiam się, że tak. Jesteśmy w piekle, moi drodzy. W takim razie to piekło poziomu drugiego. Shut the fuck up. Czy mogę pchnąć rozdającą tę kartę? All our decks have five aces already. Keeps the players happier. Huh? Not good, I would say. Not good. Czy ja mogę jakoś odwrócić uwagę tego kolesia? Jakoś, somehow. These rats are gonna pop up, see? If the rats keep in his mouth. Dobra, to mnie nie ustawia. Gablota z klopsem. Nie ma tutaj dużo osób. Spodziewałem się więcej osób. Co? Wywieszka w bufecie? A! Jednoręki bandyta mnie też nie ustawia. Ha. Czy mogę wyciągnąć tutaj giverę? To jest napad. Massachusetts. Try that again, Mug, and we'll fill you with so many holes your little friend will be able to store his straw collection. Can you make them small enough to drain pasta? Because I think I just lost the colander. I'm just gonna put this gun away and make it a point to never do that again. How's that sound? Okay, to była interakcja. Czy ta gumowa kaczuszka ma inną interakcję niż tamta? Leave it to the toy mafia to make smoking fun. Back for a little more. Just a little more. Deal. All right. Dyszka. I'm betting all ten million, and you only gotta bet one. So you in or out? Too rich for my blood. Did someone say blood? What? <laughs> I win again. That one was for you, Mama. Deal. All right. Jeśli on chce grać, to znaczy, że my nie mamy grać ogólnie. To jest chyba taka zasada. Ja, gościu ma, ma jakieś haksy definitywnie. Jak mogę to rozwiązać? Leonard, zaplecze, strażnik, który będzie jakoś posłuchać, jednoręki bandyta wywołuje e, rozmowy na temat hasła, prawda? De facto to nie. Tu potrzebuję te... Czy ja muszę... Obstawiam, że muszę jakoś użyć. Magnesu, by... Hmm. Jakoś muszę użyć magnesu, by, zr by zrobić co z systemem wykrywania przedmiotów u Bosko. W taki sposób, by coś wyleciało ze sklepu i żebym ja mógł to zabrać. Muszę przyczepić do czegoś magnes, do czegoś metalowego. Tak rozumuję, ale co jest metalowe? Co jest metalowe i co może mi się przydać w tej konkretnej sytuacji? The anti-delivery camera. 
To prawda, to ona. Hey, Bosco. How does Betach part? If anything he's placed in the stores as the anti-delivery camp. See you later. Hmm. Czy... Mam, mam, mam pomysł. Mam, mam dziwny pomysł. Ekspres do kawy. O mój Boże, czego, czego mogę stąd potrzebować? Co wygląda na potrzebne w mojej przygodzie? Jesus fucking Christ. I think it's the tinge of green. I take my cup. Foamy bread. Made from real styrofoam? No, artificial styrofoam. Czy gdybym przyczepił Magnes do Bosco? I'd rather keep it to myself. If you say so. I'd rather keep it to myself. Zegar, cennik. Kosz na śmieci? Ed, are you hey, Bosco. Look outside. It's the toilet. What? The, where? Food. There. <laughs> Sorry, Bosco. Sacre bleu. I could do this all day. See you later, Czy to jest pod... Może... Muszę... Czy ja muszę przywieźć do okna Magnes, by Bosco się obejrzał? Bo Magnes wygląda jak zabawkowa mafia. Tylko gdzie? The magnet wouldn't look good there. Czy mogę użyć tego na, na, na Nie, nie mogę. A, dostaję pierdolca. O mój Boże, jestem totalnie zagubiony. Hmm, are those? Yep, they've resorted to filling the candy machine with antidepressants. Logiczne. Hmm. Bonjour. No thanks, I brought my lunch today. Okay. Automat ze szlamikami. Mikrofalówka. Max, I've got a great idea involving you, a microwave and six feet of aluminum foil. Go on. Maybe another time. <laughs> I have no need to subject. I'm lost. And confused. Lots of terror. Huh. Czy było spoko? Co będzie za może? I am not getting in that thing again. It took me weeks to get the fishy smell out of my fur. Are those the same two weenies that were in there a month ago? Are you the same two weenies that were in here a month ago? What do we have here? Organ Trader? Self-Loathing Weekly? Hot Bunny? Ooh, let me see that! Hot Bunny? No, Self-Loathing Weekly! Huh. <laughs> That's not even worth a comment. And I... Promocja? Special. Buy one, get one. What a deal! Nice. Jestem tak bardzo zagubiony. Mój umysł jakby na kurwia salta hardo i nie mogę wymyślić nic.
Ogólnie... Ostatnia myśl, którą mam, to być może muszę... Dać szczurowi żeton bez złoty? Ogólnie jeśli to nie podziała, to jeszcze pójdziemy na chwilę do... Pójdziemy na chwilę do... do mafii. Hey Jimmy, we're looking to buy. I'm Scrape! Czy nie? Odpada. Pójdziemy do mafii i zagadam tam Maxa. Ponieważ on czasami mówi rzeczy, które niekoniecznie są przydatne, ale ruszają moją głowę we właściwy sposób. Mamy tylko i wyłącznie jedno miejsce, niestety. Dobra. Shut the fuck up. I've got an ace up my sleeve. A token amount of tokens. A teddy bear magnet. Dobra. Max. Is that poker guy psychic or what? It's like he can see his own card. I'm sure he just cheats. I would. How do you win when the other guy cheats? Cheat better? Where should we go? For? I don't know. If all the gaudy lights and chicanery weren't distracting me, I'd say go to where we're least wanted. You mean that back room with the guard? Actually, I meant the kitchen. But your idea is good too. Let's wallow. I've got a gościu kantuje. W co on patrzy, że mu się jakby to odbija? Czy mogę przypiąć do niego magnes? I'd rather keep it to myself. I'd rather keep it to myself. The magnet wouldn't look good there. A jak gdzie wyglądałby dobrze? The magnet wouldn't look good there. I'd rather keep it to myself. Ogólnie. I'd rather not advertise the ace up my sleeve. No, I don't want to ace that. That is one shiny nose. Almost as shiny as yours. Ha. Pick it up and you'll get a shiner too. We got them, boys. We got them. The magnet wouldn't look good there. Czy on tutaj odbija? O właśnie, boom. Ha. Wow, it sticks. To było całkiem randomowe. Anyway, ta z ją się nie dowa, że ma najwyższą kartę. Czas wygrać 10 milionów, czyli co tam było. O, czwórka, to bardzo słaba karta. Szkoda było, gdybyśmy ją przebili, prawda? OK. Wchodzę. Are you sure about that? What? I, you, you cheated me. What are you Boom. Let's go, Max. Leonard and his dead mother need some alone time right now. Dobra. Yeah, let's go see if we can play whack the rats ten million times in a row without passing out. 
kuszące. Aczkolwiek wracamy do Bosko kupić urządzenie podsłuchowe. Poruszymy trochę fabułę w tym odcinku. Jeszcze nie wiem, jak możemy go użyć, by podsłuchać e, mafię. Ale nad tym pomyślimy później. Dobra. Bonjour. Hey Bosco. We want to buy something. Oui, oui, monsieur. Okay, stinky pants. Here's your 10 million. Pierwszy raz widzę, że ktoś przetłumaczył Stinky Pants jako, jako śmiercią Majty. A, i wszystko jasne. Now listen up, maggots. I am a bug. Drop me in enemy territory and I will get all the information you need. You just make sure to pick me up again and I will repeat every word. Every word! We'll be putting you in some situations that could be a mite precarious. Think you can handle it? I was a non boy! You don't want to know what I've been through. They smart ladybug. Ladybugs! And that's not all. I seen him kill Larvy. Larvy! Huh? So yeah, I think I can handle it. Now I need some shut eye before the mission. Put me in your pocket. In your pocket. Move, maggot. Sir, yes, sir. Chryste, panie. Ta pluska miała przejścia. A teraz możemy iść i podsłuchać. Ta przynajmniej wiem, jak to podłożymy. Puścimy pana pluskwę na podłogę, a on zrobi dla nas resztę. Dobra, let's go. Aż padłem schody z tych nerwów. Where are we going, Sam? Teddy bear. I widzicie, to jest generalnie to, że zabawka, z, zabawka, zagadka z asem, z kartą była prosta, ale ja po prostu nie wiedziałem w ogóle, że nos clown jest interaktywny. Definitywnie się utykam na zagadce, muszę wiglować analogiem do oporu. Dobra, shut up, kaber. Dobra. Cyk. Dobra. Awesome. I teraz... Z jakiegoś powodu to jednoręki bandyta... Trigger... Nie! Triggeruje nowego członka mafii do pojawienia się, więc proszę bardzo. Nieprawda. Dobra. Idziemy podnieść tego bad boya. Nie, 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 nie chcę tego, nie. Misklik, ponownie, dobra. Mamy hasło. Awesome. This is it? Where's the food? Surely there's a buffet back here. Hey, look, that must be Teddy Bear. Where do you wise guys think you're going? Who, us? We were just browsing. We frown on that around here. I'm Chuckles, the casino pit boss. I've had my eye on you. Uh, how long have you been watching us? Long enough. Do I look any oh, taller no. than I did ten minutes ago? Your win at poker was, shall we say, creative. Why, whatever are you insinuating? That was nice work. You also somehow got the password to let you into this room. Very clever. I'm impressed. 
The Toy Mafia can use guys who are long on brains and short on scruples. Are you interested? Tommy! What Mafia? Exactly. We're not really joiners. Have you heard the term offer you can't refuse? Yeah. Ah, to stick a film. This is one of Dog Father. I say. I find it hard to resist any offer whatsoever. It's true. Serial companies love him. One even put his picture on a box. The fact Good that Archer. you've already got your own animal costume shows great initiative. But before we can accept you into the family, there are two jobs I need you to do for us. Chuckles, bad news. The original meatball sandwich has been stolen. <gasps> There are three jobs I need Jak to do for us. Jak to trzy? Przecież są dwie. Kind of jobs. Oh, the usual. I want you to lean on somebody. I want you to whack somebody, and I want you to recover a small item that belongs to us. Who do you want us to lean on? A local shopkeeper who's been refusing to stock our products. Take these special teddy bears and make sure he displays them on the sale table in the front of his store. No problem. The store is called Bosco's Inconvenience. Oh no. Um, no problem. Who do you want us to whack? We're having trouble with a witness who refuses to see things our way. We want you to silence a certain civil pandemic. Bardzo chętnie ją uciszę. Gagger with a pistol. <laughs> to czyjś fetysz. Make it messy as a message to other potential witnesses. We have her under surveillance, so we'll be watching. Yikes. What is it that you want us to recover? It's that rotting old sandwich, right? The original meatball sandwich has great sentimental value to our organization. I want you to track it down before the disrespectful slime bag who stole it manages to fence it to some other lowlife. Sounds detective-y. Deal with the thief. Na szurma tą kanapkę, prawda? We preserve plausible deniability on this one. No dobra, okej, okay. brzmi wykonalnie. Zawsze chciałem dołączyć do mafii. We want to talk to your boss. Nobody talks to Don Teddy Bear, the head of the Toy Mafia. Doesn't he get lonely? Except other members of the Toy Mafia. Ah, okej, okay, tak. Oh, that would explain it. Does the carpet match the drapes? The drapes? <laughs> well, I'll tell you about the drapes, my friend. Uh, no, that's okay. Maybe his hobby is interior decorating, Sam. Let's not chance it. No, dobra. A word of advice, because I like you two. When you walk away from the toy mafia, watch your back. Ale nie jesteśmy jeszcze członkami, prawda? I tutaj zakończymy, tak więc jeśli Wam się podobało, to zostawcie łapkę w górę pod tym filmem, trzymajcie cieplutko, miłego dzioneczka i do usłyszenia w odcinkach Sam and Max Saves the World. Na razie!